Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing the differences between similarity and congruency in figures. So friends, when are two figures said to be similar? Well, they are said to be similar if they have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So for example, friends, you can see here, I have two triangles. And it is very clear that these two triangles have the same shape, right? They appear the same, but their sizes are different. This one is smaller than this one. So these two triangles are said to be similar. So it is not necessary that they should have the same size, but they should have the same shape. Now, for example, if I draw a triangle like this, and then I draw a triangle like this, Friends, these two triangles are definitely not similar because the shapes itself don't match. So, these two triangles are similar because their shapes are the same. Now, the sizes are not the same. But what if the sizes also become same? Something like this. See here, the shape is also the same and the size is also the same. Then these similar triangles become congruent triangles. So friends, here I have two triangles. As you can see, they have the same shape, friends. Did you see that? But they don't have the same size. So what are they? Are they similar or are they congruent? Yes, they are similar triangles. On the other hand, if I have these two triangles, just have a look, friends. They have the same shape and they have the same size. So they will be congruent triangles and if you see if I place one triangle on top of the other that is I superimpose the triangles they exactly match see they exactly fall one on top of the other this is a property of all congruent figures whereas if I take the similar triangles this is not the case they do if I superimpose they don't exactly match each other. So congruent figures are like carbon copies friends. They are exactly identical. So friends the next point of difference is the symbol that is used to denote similarity and congruency. So suppose friends I have two triangles ABC and they are similar. Then you denote it by this symbol called the tilde symbol. It goes like this friends. So this shows that these two triangles are similar. Whereas for congruent figures, you use this symbol, friends, that is a tilde followed by an equal to sign below it. So for example, if you have a triangle, say XYZ, which is congruent to say triangle PQR, then you will use this symbol to denote. So this shows that triangle XYZ is congruent to triangle PQR. So friends, the next important point to note is the angles in these figures. Now when two figures are similar, then their corresponding angles have to be equal. Now let's see what we mean by that. Suppose I have triangle ABC over here, friends, and triangle PQR. Now did you see here that angle A is 40 and angle P is also 40? Similarly, here angle B is 80 and here angle Q is also 80 and angle C is 60 and angle R is 60. So friends, we have angles in the same position in these two figures to be the same. That means the corresponding angles of these two triangles are the same. So friends, please note that in similar figures, although the size is not the same, the shape has to be the same. And for the shape to be the same, the corresponding angles just have to be equal. Now friends, let's come to congruent figures. Now since congruent figures also need to have the same shape, the corresponding angles in all congruent figures should be one and the same. So for example, if I have a triangle say ABC over here, which say 40, 60 and 80, again here also I need to have another triangle PQR where the corresponding angles are going to be also equal. So here we have the angle property for similar and congruent figures. Let's talk about the sides in similar and congruent figures. So as you can see here friends, I have triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Now for two figures to be similar, it is not compulsory that the corresponding sides have to be equal, but it is important that the corresponding sides be proportional to each other. Now what does that mean is, now look at AB friends, AB is 4. 
Now, if you observe, PQ is 2. So, if I take the ratio of AB and PQ, what will I get? Yes, I will get 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Now, again note friends, I have AC which is 6 and PR which is 3. So, once again, AC upon PR will also give me 2. And last but not the least, just have a look at BC. BC upon QR will also give me the ratio as 2. So clearly, these corresponding sides are proportional. And hence, I can easily say that these two triangles are similar. Now, congruency is more strict than similarity. For two figures to be congruent, the corresponding sides have to be equal. Just proportionality will not work. So here you have two triangles ABC and XYZ. If AB is 4, then there has to be a side which is also 4. So here you have AB and XY which is 4. AC and yes, XZ is 6. BC and YZ is 8. So they have to be equal. Now that's because for congruent figures, the size also has to be the same. So the corresponding sides have to be the same. So friends, how do we show if two triangles are similar or congruent? So to prove if two triangles are similar, we have three criteria. The SAS, that is the side angle side, the SSS or the AA criteria. Whereas to show if two triangles are congruent, we have five criteria friends, which is the SAS, SSS, ASA, AAS or the RHS. So here you have five and here you have three criteria. So friends, at the end, we can conclude that all congruent figures are similar, but all similar figures are not congruent. Now friends, that's because for two figures to be congruent, they need to have the same shape. But for similar figures also, we need to have the same shape. So automatically, all your congruent figures will become similar figures. But if you look at similarity, two figures, if they are similar, they will have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. And for congruent figures, it is very strict. You need to have the same shape and the same size. So if your two similar figures are not having the same size, there is no way they are going to be congruent. So that's how we can say that all similar figures are not going to be congruent, but all your congruent figures will definitely be similar also. So friends, similarity and congruency is not confined to only triangles or other geometrical shapes, but it can be applied to everyday objects. So friends, if you found this video useful, do like and share. Please do leave your comments in the comment section below and do consider subscribing to enjoy math. So till we meet again in the next video, take care.